There's no business problem that's too big. Um, we're already seeing customers solving problems that they really couldn't solve before with you know, technology that was on the market today. Um, they're solving problems in a different way as well, going more granular, meaning I'm getting a lot more data. I'm doing this analysis uh, at more depth, and then I'm able to get that information out in a, a much quicker time to the decision makers or having the system themselves help me guide on the decision. So one, um, no business problem is too big. Um, two, there's a new look and feel from SaaS, and we'll have that on display as well. We're gonna show the attendees there an interface, um, a, a look and feel that's very intuitive, uh, it's highly engaging, and it's really built though to explore data, solve problems, and share that information throughout the company. Well, I think where we are right now is that the visualization component of it, if you will, or the, the aspect of it is the wow factor. I can now see, right, in interactive visuals, not static uh, images, interactive visuals that I can explore and discover. I can see what's going on with my data. I can then drill down and, and dig deeper to figure out what do I want to do about it? How do I want to solve that problem? Um, the other component is those analytical capabilities are now being served to a broader audience. So I like to call it analytics in a business context. Right, we still have the power and the capability to do very sophisticated analytical um, analysis. But I also have the ability to make that available to a business analyst who may not be a PhD in or have a master's in statistics. They're really looking to use those techniques and solve business problems and address their business. And that's really the combination of these two. Um, the whole concept around visual analytics and the high performance analytics really enables this concept of self-service. Um, in an organization, you don't have to make phone calls and emails and run different processes and wait overnight for a batch job. Now we're talking about the, the decision maker being able to see that information, adjust it, reanalyze it, and make a decision. We, we've really shrunk the value chain there, or the decision chain, to get to an answer and move on. Because the reality is when you're done with that, you're not done. You're gonna make a decision or, or adjust something, you know, especially if say it's on the website, you're running a campaign, you're seeing traffic, what's the response rate like? Put a new offer out, how did that work? I wanna test something out. All that's something you can do in minutes and hours. You're not doing it once a day or once a week. So I really think that, that speed and that shrinkage of the time to make a decision and then assess how well it's doing and then change course if you need to. So the way I respond when somebody might say, I don't see value there is, I show it to them. So I either show it to them um, with some demo environment that may or may not be related to their business, um, or we get to the point, maybe it's something similar in the industry. I show them industry-based data and the types of problems and discovery and visualizations that they can see. Over the course of the last 12 and 18 months, I have yet to have somebody say, wow, that wouldn't be helpful to me after they see it. So seeing is believing.